Hello, Mark Boyd from Bimini Road here for Audulus, and I have for you today a new module called the Touch Feedback Clock. As you can see here, the clock is feeding into a sequencer, which is being controlled by the rectifying LFO here. And the clock being used as a trigger is going through these probability switches on the slew limiter, and then used to control the level of the spline that is in effect used, becoming the uh, the envelope for these two organ oscillators, and these organ oscillators are set up like a Hammond organ. Uh, you can pretend these are the draw bars. Uh, and through the scale quantizer, that's the mixer, gets summed into delay, reverb, and some master output. And here you can see, this is kind of like a zoom on the output. Alright, so let's clear this out. It takes a second to uh, clear the delays, that's why it has the wait uh, ready function right there, uh, because it's just like a normal delay. Uh, let's look at the inside. See, it's just a delay node. And you have the touch, and this just sends a one, and it gets cycled all the way back around because the feedback is turned up all the way. Right, so when you reset, that makes the feedback go all the way down. You can see, see how it switches off? And this allows the delay to clear. All right, and so we're going to, and, and you can tell right here, the loop time, it, <clears throat> excuse me, it closes the feedback uh, for just the, the exact amount of time that you have the loop time set to. So a longer loop time will take longer to reset. See, wait, ready, there you go, after two seconds. Okay, so we'll pop back out, and what I really love about this, especially on the iPad, is just it's just like pressing a button right right there. It's very interactive. And just like a normal delay. You can tell how uh, it's not hitting every single time because this one's biased to off, and this one's biased to a little bit on, but it's mostly a coin flipper. Uh, we got here. Just like a normal delay pedal, you can get that kind of faster feedback sound. See? And it's creating some interesting rhythms there. Any of you noise fanatics out here will love playing with this thing. It's very hard to get a reproducible rhythm uh, from this, but it's just like twisting a delay knob and turning it into self-oscillation. So once it gets out of control, just press reset. Ready. So that's just one way to use the touch feedback clock and featuring an interesting way to employ the spline uh, as an envelope uh, using probability to get kind of evolving, never quite the same patch. Thanks for watching.